Xerity here and I realized I haven't done a vlog in forever <laughs> and so um, it's Monday morning right now? Yeah, sorry, I work nights so my days are a little confuddled. Um, but yeah, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, Monday morning. I got home from work maybe an hour ago, had to eat my dinner and just kind of decided that I wanted to vlog. <laughs> Um, because I haven't talked to you guys directly in a while. It's all been games, and I really wanted to connect with my audience. So, um, here's me attempting to connect to you guys, I guess. Uh, but I thought about, uh, doing a weekly vlog now. Um, uh, and I was thinking about calling it, uh, My Thought Mondays, because, yeah, I usually have lots of thoughts going through my head when I come home from work, um, for the first day of the week, Sunday night, Monday morning. So, yeah. Um, today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about safety in the workplace because I work for UPS. I work in a hub, which is basically a warehouse where we transport things, um, you know, move them out of one truck, sort them to where they're supposed to go, move them into another truck, and then the trucks leave and do whatever they do. Um, but uh, it's gotten a little bit busier, which is weird because the holiday season we thought was going to be busy and was slow as all hell. I don't know. But it's gotten busy again, and now it's just kind of one of those where they're trying to move so many packages through that it's becoming a hazard to stand anywhere near chutes where boxes come down, um, because they just, in order to keep the warehouse running, they just have to keep piling things on top of each other until they're like 10, 12 feet in the air. Now given the chute starts at like four, four and a half feet or so in the air trying to think. How, how tall am I? I'm only five, like, three. I don't even know. <laughs> I haven't actually been measured at the doctor's office in so many years. But I'm somewhere around five, three. And it starts just a little bit below my shoulder. So, eh, yeah, thereabouts on me. Not that you can see, because I'm sitting down right now. Uh, but yeah, so they started about there, and then there's about a foot of width. That's not a foot. Um, but you get the idea. There's about a foot of width where there's um, a safety lip basically on the chute to help guide things down. Uh, but they're being stacked up from the bottom of the chute like three or four feet in the air. And it's just really not safe. And, uh, you know, I don't want to badmouth my coworkers because that's a rude thing to do. And I'm not that kind of person. But, you know, when, when you're asking somebody to try and be safe because you're worried about getting a concussion because some of those boxes are really heavy, you're worried about them falling on your head, it's not really nice to listen to them talk about you in bad light with other coworkers when you're standing, like, two feet from them. Like, I, I get it. I listen to YouTube videos or music in my headphones all the time. But I always have one ear that's open, and it's the ear that can actually hear better. So, um, I can hear you guys. So... Don't be, don't be unsafe at work, guys. I don't care what you're doing. Be safe. Make sure you're not slipping on puddles. Make sure you're looking where you're walking. You're lifting things properly so that you don't hurt yourself. And you're not endangering others. And please don't badmouth people. I don't care if you've had a bad day. It's just, when somebody hears that, I mean, I've got a pretty high self-esteem just because I was picked on so much as a kid that I just water off my back. But don't do it to other people. You don't know how they're going to react, you know. I've had friends in the past who have been bad-mouthed and haven't known, you know, the people that were bad-mouthing them didn't know how emotionally unstable they were, and they committed suicide. So, I can't stress enough, guys. If you can't be nice, try not to say anything at all. Or at least, if, you know, you're saying bad things about people and you can't help it, try not to do it in front of them or next to them, anywhere within earshot. Like, really, guys, we're in a warehouse. Everything echoes. I don't care how far it echoes, it echoes. And if I can hear you, it means the rest of everybody around me can hear you, which means that other people could now think of me in a bad light when I haven't done anything wrong, and that's hurtful. But I've rambled on enough about that. Um, I wanted this to be a happy vlog. I didn't want this to be me being like, no, people, don't be bad. Be nice. <laughs> um, but yeah. So be nice to people. Be safe. Yay. Um, another thing, uh, which is, oh my god, so beautiful, but uh, somebody I know today said a remark about this guy that she th thinks is kind of attractive, 
um, and was walk watching him walk somewhere off in the distance, and just kind of goes, you know, he looks good in a from a distance too. And it just kind of brought this thought to my head that was like, but if you find someone attractive up close, what's gonna make them look unattractive from far away? It's like, I mean, is this is a silhouette gonna be unattractive from farther away than if you see them up close? I would think, if anything, it would be the opposite way around. Like, they'd look for good from a distance, and then you'd get closer, and then you'd realize that there was something unattractive that you didn't like about them. You know, not to say that from a distance a silhouette looks nice, and then you get up close and, oh my god, this person's ugly. But, I mean, everybody has their own personal taste. So, yeah. I just thought it was funny in the moment. I don't know. It seems less funny now, but I figured I'd share that with you guys. Maybe some of you guys think it's funnier than I thought it was, even. Who knows? Oh, my hair has finally started fading to a color that I like it. When I first got it dyed, it was really, really dark, and I'm a natural blonde. I'm a natural dark blonde, yes, but I'm a natural blonde anyway. So my hair being really dark terrifies me, because when I was a teenager, I got it dyed brown because I wanted to be an actual brunette, and it turned black because we didn't know what we were doing at the time. Um... But yeah, so my hair being dark kind of ter terrifies me, and it's starting to fade finally into a color that I'm liking better. Um, my bangs are kind of like almost lavender now, and I need to get my blue roots touched up really badly. But oh my god, this green streak is so gorgeous. I don't think I've actually shown you guys my hair, but oh my god, look at that green. It's so beautiful. It almost makes me want to dye my whole head this color. <laughs> Except for the fact that I'd hate it in like two weeks and then I would have to re-dye it and I don't want to damage my hair like that. Um, yeah. I guess that's gonna do it for my first My Thought Mondays. Um, these will be shorter vlogs, hopefully. So, like, maybe in the future I'll ask questions and see what you guys respond. But yeah, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe for more great content. This is Nixarity signing off. See you guys next time. Bye.